Zombie Army. I'm back with episode 5 of my God of War walkthrough. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content lately. Pretty much this is probably like an hour after the recording. I am recording a couple episodes ahead of time just so I can focus on work and focus on the new Minecraft series that's coming out. So, so uh, if you guys didn't catch the last episode, I was explaining that I'm doing Minecraft videos too. Those videos are, you probably already have watched the episode one of the Brothers SMP and stuff like that. I don't want to go high. But we're going to just continue and see where we can go. There's a boat there. What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? Without knowing the outcome? Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts. I knew it! We are blowing the horn! No. We are testing your resolve. I have resolve. A bunch of it. I won't blow into it if you don't. I won't blow into it if you don't. But I want to blow in the horn. I won't blow into it if you don't. So I'm gonna go back up and watch this, ready? See what happens if I go back up and let's see if it does the same. I won't blow into it if you don't. I won't blow into it if you don't. I guess I'll just continue going this way. Tower leads through to the mountain. I'm ready. What's on there? Nothing here. Huh. 
Well, I guess that's all this area is for. Okay, so... Let's head back up and see where it takes us. To the tower! I know I'm missing one, I think, one more artifact, and then I would have all of them. I don't know how to check that. Uh, pretty sure I have to come back through here, so hopefully I have to. serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look. He bit Thor. Or will bite him. Looks like. I still can't read these. I told you. We should come back with the cipher. What is that? Oh. Translate those moose behind rooms. Need one more cipher, and I'm done. Okay. those things they smell awful your mother called them scorn poles poison magic she was the one who showed me how to disable them <laughs> what it's just funny to think of her teaching you something yes is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. 
It was one of ours, but, uh... <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I... can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh... Well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that... <clears throat> you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But... Nobody asked me to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. <laughs> I'll just. I will just. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Busy doo doo. What can I do for you two? The magic stone, I guess. And for you? You didn't do anything to it. Don't be a stranger. Oh, I could use a distraction. Where were you even carrying those? Well, scrounge around a bit. It more and we'll build something then.
should start. I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. Can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. need something to get through this one. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting with her. It would serve you to stop talking. <laughs>
I didn't know I can upgrade these. Oh, that Well, at least I finally got one that I needed. Whoa. I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Sindri knows his sky mover is tangled with roots up here. I doubt it. So how's he going to get it to work? I do not care. Huh. Is that smoke? Yes. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What? Is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. 
What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. <laughs> we'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. No one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back at all. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? What? It's solid. Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. Huh? As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guy. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. There's no good god here. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. 
Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Wait, no, I want to go upgrade my axe. I think I have the flame that I need. I have to. Go oh, ahead. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Oh, I have now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. By what? Did Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once, but this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. <laughs> Just a little more to go. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait. So did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Wow, he's not even here. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. You talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep. Underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Hmm. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree and make travel between the realms possible. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of all time. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, 
that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait. There's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the Realm Travel Bridge will align, and the Realm Between Realms will open. Huh? See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, <gasps> opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black light go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Champman was here. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot the light? I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <laughs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get your own. Oh! Hmm. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Huh. Look 
look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. I'm just continue now. Okay. What is that? I think you killed it. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Oh. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the life. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. Okay. They keep murdering the White House. It is war. The end of one. The rope once lost. <laughs> attacking us for we didn't do anything more will come this stuff even come from okay did you say something no oh okay at least we're getting closer to the light let's get started then wait is that Sindri? brother lay his hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. I lose strength. That looks amazing. I need to lose a little bit, but I can upgrade the strength.
Now don't be a stranger. What speaks to you? Good, good. Also, remember to breathe. That should tide you over. I need another cross today. Sometimes the best purchase is the one we don't have. Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Oh. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed it. I got pretty deep into the story, but I'll see you guys in episode six. Where we'll continue going through this camp, we'll walk through campaign, whatever you want to call it. But I'll see you guys in that episode. Peace out. <laughs>